So three of the major areas of concern when securing a healthcare organization are ensuring least privilege, uh, so you're controlling access to information, um, also making sure you don't accidentally disclose information, as well as having a thorough risk management program. Probably the most critical, obviously, is ensuring that you don't incidentally disclose patient information or other healthcare information to unauthorized parties. Taking care to not disclose that information is critical to the success of any healthcare organization. Things like voicemail, uh, text messages, ensuring that perhaps you know exactly who you're speaking to and who's on the other end of that communication, as well as ensuring that there's some kind of security on the channel, such as not using text messaging or, or anything that's unencrypted. Uh, we want to make sure that we're protecting that data at all times. Uh, just the other day, uh, there was an interesting anecdote where my son, who's 13, got a, a voicemail from a healthcare provider giving him the details of all his test results that he just had and instructing him that he needed to call to make a follow-up appointment. Well, my son's only had the phone for about three weeks, and it most obviously wasn't his appointment. However, we now know all of this person's information from their old telephone number, their address, their name, what's wrong with them medically, and the results of some of their tests. So this is one example of incidental disclosure. Access controls will help any organization safeguard their data because what they what their intent is is to make sure that individuals who can access and view the information are permitted to do, th do so and authorized by someone within the company. Uh, so for instance, when you're at a doctor's office and there's a shared user ID between multiple different people in the front office to access an electronic medical system, for instance, you lose the ability to track who is looking at what information and you also lose the ability to track who has the privilege to view certain information. So making sure that you use things like, like unique identification protecting your credentials, not leaving passwords out and about so that other people can use your login and authenticate as you are all critical because in the healthcare environment, certain people have access to certain information and it's important that we keep that in place. One of the other major things that's, that's critical in a healthcare organization is management of risk. HIPAA and the high tech rule and the omnibus rule all have varying degrees of addressment to different forms of risk analysis, mitigation, and control. Where certain compliance standards perhaps only focus on do you determine what your proper risk is, HIPAA spends a lot of time ensuring that healthcare organizations not only understand what their risk is, but that they've addressed it properly, and that their management has the ability to be able to address it over time. It's very important to have a thorough understanding of what your actual risk is, not only from an IT perspective, but your technologies, business processes, people, uh, any kind of vulnerability. So all critical assets and critical vulnerabilities need to be have a risk analysis performed at least annually.